Hello, my name is Mrs Gledhill and I'm the Director of English here at Gainsborough Academy and it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the Year 8 Options Evening. The good news is English isn't an option. We believe it's a life skill and it's essential for absolutely everything. All students at the Gainsborough Academy will be entered for two qualifications at the end of Year 11, English Language and English Literature, which basically means you'll end up with two GCSEs. Not only is English a life skill, it's also the most important cross-curricular subject for schools, colleges and universities. A grade 5 pass in English will open doors to colleges, apprenticeships and a wide range of careers, even if you decide not to study it at a later date. It's still there on your qualification certificate and it's still one of the most important qualifications you'll ever achieve. I'm just going to go through what we study in year 10 for our GCSE English Literature, which is just one of the qualifications that you'll achieve at the end of year 11. So we study the Shakespearean text, Romeo and Juliet. We study the Wayjet Poetry Anthology. We study the Dickensian novel, A Christmas Carol, contemporary play called The Blood Brothers, and a wide range of poems. It's assessed in two untiered papers. So we don't have foundation um, and higher in English, it's all untiered. Component one is the Shakespeare and Poetry Anthology and component two is the 19th century novel, the modern play and unseen poetry. For English language, again it's untiered papers and it's um, paper one which is creative reading and creative writing so you'll have lots of opportunities to write creatively and then paper two is viewpoints and attitudes you're also assessed for a speaking endorsement that appears on your GCSE qualifications but it doesn't actually contribute to your GCSE the most important thing I think for this evening is to talk about the year nine curriculum and we use it as a springboard to get from year seven and eight to year 10 and 11. Basically, it builds on all of the knowledge that you've achieved in year seven and eight, and then we start looking at the more complicated things moving on towards year 10 and 11. So, we study the modern play, as mentioned previously, Blood Brothers, exploring um, a wide range of conventions of the modern play, character constructs, and also we go into context in more detail in year nine where we're looking at night, the night, what life was like in Britain in the 1970s and early 1980s. Hopefully we'll also have an opportunity for a theatre experience. In addition to that we develop our understanding of the gothic genre which is already being touched on in year eight. We study the film Woman in Black and we also read the novel. In addition to that, we do a selection of Gothic poetry, which is really exciting and interesting. Towards the end of year nine, you'll study the Shakespeare text, Macbeth, and during that time, you'll get an opportunity to explore some, in more detail Shakespeare's language. We also promote reading for pleasure because we believe that's a really important thing for everyone to do. Um, we believe that if you read more, you succeed more. Not only in year nine do we study a range of texts, we also do um, some writing too. We'll have creative writing, which will give you an opportunity to enter story competitions and really harness those creative writing skills. But we also do viewpoint writing as well, which we think is, is an important part of the curriculum. And we develop skills that you'll later learn in life. Um, such as essay writing, formal letters, speeches and articles. Big focus for us as well, as with all other schools, is our spelling, punctuation and grammar. We don't want to forget about that, as well as our choices of vocabulary. Finally, we also realise that it's very, very important not only to read and write, but to speak. And we promote the use of standard English. We believe that it's a really important life skill that you'll use throughout your life. So we've got various speaking activities set up for you in year nine. Thank you for listening.